I'm here to review this lens Sigma 7200 f2.8 DG DN OS sports lens. So this lens is made for the L mount cameras and for the Sony E mount. So I tested on Sigma FPL and on Sigma S5 Mark II as I had a L mount version of this lens. So this lens is full of controls like starting from the zoom ring which is on the hood end then comes the focus ring and the aperture ring which can be clicked or declicked or given to camera control and they have the autofocus to manual focus selector switch and the limiter switch which you can put from near focus mid focus or full focus and then optical stabilization function which can be put for normal stabilization or for panning function they have given a new custom function switch wherein you can program as a combination of stabilization and focus limiting settings and then you also have three push buttons around the barrel of the lens which can be customized for various function and then you have a tripod feet so which can swivel around the lens by 90 degrees which is at marked positions but one thing i partly didn't like about this lens is how this feet was attached to the lens so you have to use a set of four allen screws to remove this uh, feet if you want with something I didn't like but there is something I like like this is Arca Swiss friendly that means if you have an Arca Swiss compatible tripod you can directly put this feet into the tripod and lock it. The whole lens actually looks well built and is about 1335 grams which is actually uh, a reduced weight from the previous version of the Sigma lens built for DSLR cameras. The lens is completely weather sealed, so you can happily use in drizzles and dusty conditions. The lens comes with a beautiful hood which is attached through this particular screw. A lot of reviewers were complaining that it was not bayonet, but during use I didn't find it as much of an issue. Honestly, I like it and the way it uh, positions on the lens. But the only thing is it covers a uh, part of the focus ring which is a little bit odd. There's a couple of reasons why all photographers find this 7200 f2.8 lens very interesting. One of the foremost reasons is once you put the lens at 200 and f2.8, the depth of field is very, very shallow. So it can isolate any subject out from the background and the background is thrown into a very, very smooth milkshake like thing. And it also gives a beautiful bouquet. The one thing special about this lens is with the new optical design, everything is stack sharp even at f2.8. I did a portrait shoot with a model named Usha and I was very, very happy with the kind of details this lens resolved. And on Sigma FPL, I was really happy with the colors this lens rendered. There was no issue of flares. And another special thing I like about this range is Apart from giving the shallow depth of field, it also gives a beautiful compression by bringing the background a little closer to the subject, which looks interesting for portraits. While shooting the portraits of Usha, I was just taking a stroll down the trail to shoot some flowers and I was able to get some close shots of those flowers. So I found the magnification ratio to be quite useful for shooting occasional flowers, insects and butterflies. So the magnification ratio of the lens is about 1 is to 5.2. In no way it's close to a macro lens, but still useful for a versatile lens like a 7200, which you can carry every day and still get those shots you want. I'm sure a lot of sports and action photographers are going to find this lens useful. So I took this lens to Marina Beach, made it on a Lumix S5 Mark II camera to shoot some guys somersaulting on the beach. Some of the guys made at least a couple of turns in mid-air and I was trying to catch them. I, I was very happy with the way the lens performed in autofocus and I was able to catch a number of guys in air in both photos and video. Another feature which comes handy while shooting such pictures and doing such videos is the optical stabilization. To test optical stabilization while I was happy with the pictures of somersaulting guys, I put the lens up in air to focus on a lighthouse and I switched on and off the stabilization to give an idea of how much the stabilization 
affects the image. It was a world of a difference, I should say, and it definitely helps videographers more than photographers, I would say, because when most of these pictures are taken in shutter speed in upwards of one by thousand, okay, it may not be much of a help for photographers unless they shoot in low light, like in concerts. The other use of 70 to 100 lens is where you cannot get closer to subject, like in a concert, like any stage performances, these lenses help a lot. And it is at such times you use optical stabilization when your shutter speeds are dropping. And I really feel this lens will perform when it comes to optical stabilization. One thing Sigma could probably consider changing is the way the tripod port is mounted. It is mounted using a four Allen screws, which is not easily removable. I think if Sigma could consider that design change, it could be better. The lens weighs about 1345 grams, which is quite friendly on the hand and it has reduced over 300 grams from the erstwhile DSLR version of the lens. If there is an improvement or a second version of the lens, which is going to come in future, I would recommend Sigma to go for a dieting plan. A weight of around 1000 grams will be really, really welcome because every gram of weight on the lens weighs on our hands. This beautiful looking lens with many controls around its surface, well built. I found the optical quality was really good. The autofocus performance was good. The stabilization was great. And there are no reasons why you shouldn't consider this lens when it is available at a sweet price of about 1.55 lakhs in the market. So I recommend this lens for all photographers and filmmakers. So this lens is available in both L mount and Sony E mount. Try this lens, I'm sure you're going to like this.